And we're back here at the Stock Recap Show. It is 10 August 2023, and I'm super excited to get into your free episode this week, only available on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. And it is super sunny out here on the beach, but I'm going to go ahead and power through right here on 10 August 2023. So important disclaimer before we get into it, these videos are all intended for educational purposes only. Trade your own risk. Nine out of 10 traders loses money. One in three traders loses 90% or more. There's no guarantee you're going to make money with this strategy or any other strategy. Don't risk money you can't afford to lose. Results are not typical. We got a high fly ball and it is out of here and the big mover of today was bsaq up 73.06 percent and this was a crazy move i'm just going to go ahead and, and bring over the the charts here uh that was the ir list we'll get to that later bsaq was the big leader on the day up 73.06 percent okay um yeah so that was a big move BNF was also a pretty big app, was a big app loving corp. I don't really know too much about this, but this looks like a great pattern here. Uh, except for this like red volume here. That means there's more selling than buying. Um, but you can expect that on a, a big breakout like this. And, you know, it might test these lows too. Uh, I guess that's 32 or whatever. So that's um, the three home runs of the day. And I did want to look back at, at some of these top home runs of two weeks ago. Because um, I was on vacation last week. But URGN was up 100%. I'm going to... Pull up the chart of top here, which was up 56%. Okay, so it was a big move back on July 27th, and it, it was huge. It went from like 190 to 290, so like 30% or so. And then it almost doubled from there. It almost touched six, but you would have had to set that high target there to cash out at these levels because it's already back below four. Okay. So that's uh, sometimes just how it goes. There's, there's retracements and it's usually at the, the Fibonacci numbers. You can look into that, but let's get into the bout of breakout stocks. So the, we're going to, we're going to get into HLLY. We're going to look at these charts here. So this was up 20%. AOI was up 19, about 19% ramp. I do like this pattern of all the, the bout to breakout stocks just because it was such a kicker here. It was just such a down day here. And then they really made the, the shorts pay for it today up 18%. So big move there. Now let's get into the IR list. Okay. These are stocks on injured relief here. Okay. So they're recovering ORGN had a big down day today okay you may see a bounce in this it's got incredibly low price per earnings yeah it's actually got earnings and it just dropped 66 percent okay so it's just interesting but it doesn't appear to be too much in sales i don't know how you can have income without sales but yeah i would have to look into this a little more and study these this balance sheet here, but it looks like they got, or they had at the end of last year, they had 215 million in short term investments, which is uh, more than the whole market cap. Um, but you know, they could have a lot of debt on, on their books and you would, you would check that out right on the balance sheet here. So it would be um, under the, the current liabilities, which is, which is, they had 20 million, but maybe they have a lot more now, you know? So you would really have to look into their purchases that they made, maybe the, the quarterly uh, statements here. But that's how you read a balance sheet. In short, if you're looking for more information on that, you can schedule a call at FridayTraders.com, and I'll be happy to assist you there. MVLA, uh, Movella Holdings is, is the second IR list stock, and X4 is also on injured relief down 36% almost 
today, okay? And this market's been pretty choppy. So like what's down today might be up tomorrow. That goes for that goes for the, the big movers here too, okay? So I would not buy this up here unless, you know, you're you're it's gapping higher tomorrow and you're expecting a, a continuation candle or something. But if it's um if it just opens where it closed, I would expect it to retest like 14, maybe 13 here. Okay. So just watch for a big drop in these stocks. Um this this got depressed so long that it might be the it might really be the bottom here. And this looks pretty good. This looks the best of the of the home run stocks. And like I said, um hey, I well, looks pretty good, but ramp, I do like this this chart here because of this kicker pattern. So that's it for the IR list. And let's get into the scouting report. Okay. So AOI was was top on the scouting report. That's definitely on a lot of the, the scanners here because of the patterns and the numbers. Um, AMSC, yeah, you can look into all these, but I'm not going to get into them. But those are our top, top 10 here. Okay. So if you are interested in learning one of the most valuable skills that you can have that can completely change your whole life, um, you should schedule a call at FridayTraders.com. And it's FridayTraders.com. And you can schedule a call there, and I would be happy to assist you in your trade journey and understanding what's going on in the markets, especially if, if you're losing money, like 9 out of 10 traders. I know it can be incredibly painful and frustrating, especially if you don't really know how you're losing the money. That's even worse. And just getting that knowledge can be super comforting. And yeah, just schedule the call. Uh, happy trading in the meantime. And I look forward to speaking with you. See you then.